so much to talk about. First of all, uh, you are, you're ta you talk about the, in this book, you talk about many things, but you talk about the end uh, of the earth as we know it, and you seem excited about the whole thing. That, is that fair to say? How could you not be? Uh huh. I mean, it's, it's all the ways the universe wants to kill us. Yes. It's, it's yeah. not enough conversation about that, I think. Right, right. Uh, so you're talking about, uh, well, one of the things you talk about, and it's in the title, Death by Black Hole, uh, everyone's heard of a black hole. I, everyone, different people have different levels of understanding. Mine is very rudimentary. I know it is a black hole. Maybe a star is imploding, light can't escape, everything's being sucked in. Is that you, right? You got it. Okay, got all right. Uh, how would we, how would it, what would it be like to die uh, by going into a black hole? What would it, that experience be like? It's, Let's... it's the way to go. Yeah. I mean, if you have your choice, <laughs> Of getting hit by a car, dying in a nursing home, right. or falling into a black hole, that, the choice is easy for me. You think black hole is the way to die? Totally. It's okay. the way to die. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, explain. Paint a picture for us. Let's say La Bamba. Uh, <laughs> let's say La Bamba was uh, sucked into a black hole. Tell us, uh, stage by stage, what would happen to La Bamba? All right. <laughs> So, so, so he would. If you go a feet first dive, yeah. What happens this is, is, and this is all true. What you're saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can calculate it. It's, okay. it's there. We got it. We're okay. on it. So your feet approach the black hole faster than your head does. Okay. Because the gravity is stronger at your feet. Okay. And at first you, you're stretching. And that kind of feels good, right. initially. It's stretching you a little bit, and it feels it therapeutic. It feels kind of good, therapeutic stretch. Yeah. Until that difference in gravity <laughs> becomes greater right. than the molecular forces that hold your flesh together. Ah. And at that point, you snap into right. two segments. Right. And then each of those two segments, right. eventually they snap into two segments. Right. You go from one to two to four to eight right. to 16, and you're the stream of particles descending down now, to is the that, abyss. Now, are you feeling pain, or are you yeah. not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm an ass now. Does, does it hurt when you're torn in half? <laughs> but it's worse than that, though. It's worse because the fabric of space and time funnels you. Yes. So that, in fact, you're occupying a narrower and narrower cone of space. Right. So you're getting extruded through the fabric of space-time like toothpaste through a tube. Right. And you say this is preferable, you say, <laughs> than having, like, uh, three bottles of Jack Daniels and falling down a well, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you had to choose, why not perform the irreversible experiment of your life. Right, you mean be, and become part of the cosmos in this trippy way. Yeah, well, a part of the black hole of the cosmos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you've, you have been in the news, is this correct? Beca or, uh, uh, we, there's something that happened in the news that, that you've been fascinated with, which is we all heard recently that a comet is headed towards Earth, yeah, well, an asteroid. An asteroid, asteroid. asteroid. And, and people are saying it's possible this thing could yeah. hit our planet okay. in what year? Oh, uh, 2036. 2036. April 13th. April 13th, yeah, they know the yeah, date. Yeah, let me, let me check. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oops, it's a feather from your, from. Oh, that's a Vagoda feather. Yeah, yes. <laughs> April, thir that. April 13th. Yeah. April 13th. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, w what will happen, where will it strike, do they know? Oh yeah, if it, if, if it strikes, yeah. and it hits the center of where we think it'll be, it'll, right. hit, it'll plunge into the Pacific Ocean. Right. Cavitate the ocean with a three mile wide hole, three miles deep. Right. And at that point, a pulse of water rushes towards the coastline of North America. Right. Oh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> then the water sloshes back in, and it keeps sloshing, <laughs> and you get these pulses. You get pulses, And yeah. every pulse that hits the west coast of North America, it reaches those million-dollar homes in Malibu, right. brings them out to the ocean, right. rushes them back, and they don't have the same shape that they used to. Sure. They're now this tumbling <laughs> right. mass of debris. I think we all understand, yeah, uh, a house getting ripped apart. Right, right, okay. <laughs> and so it just Something pulls. happens when the wave hits the house. <laughs> it becomes a smaller period of particles than it was before. So it might hit a 1 in 45,000 chance that it'll hit. No, oh, oh, wait a minute. 1 in 45,000? That's not happening. Well, there are people who bet that they're going to win a lottery on worse odds than that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this is the, you know, we got to straighten Are scientists out. already working on if, a, if, a, if an asteroid's headed this way, the Armageddon idea of getting a bunch of movie stars like into Bruce a- Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, Willis and put a bunch of people in a spaceship and they go and land on the asteroid and blow it up and we then have... Liv Tyler and Ben Affleck make out. Is that, is that, is that? We got top people working on this problem. Yeah, we, we got I've like... heard that before. <laughs> yeah, whatever plumber says that to me, I know it's gonna cost me $9,000. We've got like, we, we got like the nuke folks who want to like blow the thing out of the sky. Right, and we right. got like the kindler, gentler solution, where you'd send up a spacecraft mm -hmm. that might want to, that wants to fall in by gravity, but use little retro rockets, and it slowly tugs it out of harm's way. Interesting. And that's what we want to do with this asteroid. Why don't we just make a black cork? <laughs> <laughs> we have moved.
moved on to the asteroid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you leave for periods of time and then come back. <laughs> you know what show you're on right now, don't you? <laughs> uh, now, um, as an astrophysicist, you have said that you are frustrated by how the stars and the cosmos is portrayed on television. You think that people don't pay enough attention to yeah, accuracy. it's bad. It's bad. Like, in fact, forgive me, mm -hmm. but your moon is just completely wrong. Which one? This moon? What do you mean, which one? Which you got one moon here. A moon. It's, it's too large. It's the wrong phase. Mm -hmm. It's in the wrong part of the sky, and it's facing the wrong direction. I don't want to get anybody fired or anything on your set, but I have to get that off my chest. I've been trying to Don't get... worry. We don't have a moon guy here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a specialization like that. You where sh on, where you, should the moon be? You come on in the middle of the night. You can't have a crescent moon. Because there aren't crescent moons? Not in the middle of the night. No, they're gone. They're gone. Crescent moons. Unless you live in the Arctic. Yeah. They're gone. So that moon should be like turned this way. Right. It should be like a half moon or more. Right. It should be further over New Jersey and it should be smaller. I just had to, I'm sorry. We're gonna get right on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's clearly that's clearly the most pressing problem on this show. <laughs> All right, well, uh, death by Black Hole, which has been nicely solved by you. We've oh. got that one figured out. Black Court goes right in there and we're set. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> is in stores now, and uh, Nova Science Now airs on PBS, so uh, check your local listings. And I hope you can come back, because we've got well, a lot more to talk the about. The universe is, is vast. Yes, it is yes. very vast. Okay. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, thank you very much. We'll take a break.